how does your work um how does your work evoke compassion and empathy in your audiences and how does it help uh promote equity and social change well I'll just give an example of some of the the work that I do. Uh, there's a uh, I've, I co-facilitate a music drum circle with a group of adults that are in recovery from um, substance abuse, and we meet and for an hour every week in in circle, and we it may start with drumming. But I also have a uh, a list of core values that uh, I ask each person to consider what what you need in the world to feel loved and supported. And those those values may you know it could be friendship, it could be um, support, it could there's a there's a whole range of things that people need. And then we put that into a, a chant. So I may, um, the chant may just be me singing freedom, 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 freedom. And while I'm singing that, then they might sing, I need love, freedom, give me hope. So everyone is chanting while each person gets to go around and say what they need. And, and then there's another one where uh, um, the values of being in circle, like what that means, what does it mean to, to know that everybody is equal, to know that everybody's voice is validated and that everyone has a space to be seen and heard. So those there's a, a list of uh, sentences that I'll, everyone has a copy of, and I'll pass the microphone on while we're softly drumming, and people can speak on it, they can sing it, they can re recite poetry. They're just and and everybody is so excited that there's this whole sense of freedom that comes from everybody being able to uh, um, express themselves freely and unconditionally that that's that's that place is the place that I carry with me uh, as I do performances as I um, do workshops as I encounter people in the grocery store it's that whole idea that everybody is valued and is important and you don't even have to prove your right to be just your being here is enough <laughs>